All right, guys, good old boy 32 here. Check it out. So I'm sitting in my home office. I just got done with a pure crazy day. It's Monday after the Super Bowl. Who knew? All right. Anyway, got an email from a gentleman, RLSJR, who, well, because Pennsylvania is kind of like my second home. I live in North Carolina, but I work and I do a lot of shooting and I do a lot of traveling in Pennsylvania. Uh, and I think it's probably one of the most beautiful states all the way from Philadelphia to Pittsburgh. Absolutely love it. Reminds me a lot of North Carolina. But on occasion, you're going to have some state senators or legislatures, legislators who bring it upon themselves to initiate some stupid and ridiculous uh, Senate bills. Or in this case, we have a memorandum. Now, I don't know what a deal is with a memorandum, but this guy right here, and, and you know, before we get started, the premise of the thing is stand your ground, doctrine, or duty to retreat. In your state, let me know in the comment section down below what state you're from and what is your state law. Is it one of the three? Duty to retreat, castle doctrine, or stand your ground. In this thing, he states that in 2018, the nonpartisan Rand Corporation released a comprehensive report that found in part, in part, and that's an important word to remember, in part, that stand your ground laws are linked to more violent crime, particularly homicides, and that they do not prevent violent crime. Now, let me talk to you about this. Is it justifiable homicide? Is it uh, defense in homicide? Uh, yes, it probably is, guys, because here's the thing. If somebody walks up to you and sticks a gun in your face and you're able to defend yourself and take that guy out, you kill the person and it's a homicide, regardless if it's justifiable or not. It's a homicide. So what he's not doing is he's not clarifying that these people, by defending themselves, saved one, their own life, but also took out a criminal who was trying to kill them. In doing so, what he's trying to say is uh, Rand has decided that, well, uh, stand your ground is a bad thing. And it's not in my book. Now, I live in the state of North Carolina. We have this thing called a castle doctrine. Hell, if you're sitting on your motorcycle and somebody tries to keep, come over and hit you over the head with a baseball bat, guess what? That motorcycle is part of your castle doctrine. Uh, the stand your ground law is a great thing. But here's the thing that he's trying to do is they want to reinstate the duty to retreat. Now, what is duty to retreat? Well, let's just say this. If you're in your home and you have a home invasion, you have a duty to retreat or find some place that's safe in your home, which is a sticky situation because I've actually been in a position where I thought my house was being broken into at, the, at, at one particular time. And I got news for somebody if they want to cross my threshold and they cause harm to my family or threaten my family, the castle doctrine will be fully implemented, period. So here we have the Rand Corporation who's put out a study, and I'm going to put the link down below so you can read it. Uh, if a person reasonably believed themselves imminent of danger or injury or death, with no safe way of retreating from the confrontation, stand your ground laws, remove this duty to retreat. Proponents of stand your ground laws argue they reduce barriers that prevent victims from exercising the right to defend themselves. Citizens had already possessed a right to meet force with force without retreating, then threatened in their homes, a law referred to as castle doctrine. Stand your ground laws extended that right to other locations. Proponents argue the expansion of castle doctrine would deter would-be criminals. Despite laws like Florida's having been around for a quarter century, we have little research on whether stand your ground laws actually prevent criminal violence as proponents suggest or exacerbate it as opponents believe. There it is, straight from Rand themselves. But this guy right here, Stephen J. Santosiero, a Democrat, Senate District 10, Buck County, up there, right across the river from New Jersey. This is what he's trying to do. He was a lawyer, became a school teacher, and you know what they say. People, never mind. I'm not going to get into that. But in any case, what I'm saying is, guys, you get these individuals. Uh, he's from Newtown, Pennsylvania, that want to skew an actual study to support their argument in this memorandum to remove your right to defend yourself as you see fit. It's disgusting. Duty to retreat. I think Virginia has duty to retreat. And I talked to my sister who lives in Virginia, and she said that's absolutely crazy that we'd have to find a place. We cannot purposefully engage an intruder in our home, or you may go to jail. Guys, let me know what your thoughts are down below. I thought this was a really good subject. I really appreciate it. R-L-S-J-R. 
for sending this in. These are some great topics. If you guys have some other uh, topics that you like for me to discuss or want my opinion on it, I love it. I like doing rants. Don't forget to use uh, KB32Tech.com for all your shopping cool things and also uh, revamping and getting a new website that's going. We're going to have intros to the videos. It's going to be really cool and a new logo. So anyway, with that being said, guys, we always end it like this. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform who support our Constitution as it was written by our founding fathers 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is never free. It's Code Boy 32. I'm out.